Now a quick weekend job. I've got some shelves and a bench to build in this shed for pottery, pottery making. There's no drawing so all I've got is their drawing, their sketch that they gave me and a few measurements that I took. There's nothing going to be complicated on this, just screwing stuff together. Makes a change from doing all the sanding and spraying. And for cheap wood, 2x1 foot slats for the shelves, and this is CLS, it's pretty much the cheapest, it's slightly smaller stock which is probably more suitable for this job, and it's already got rounded corners, most of them anyway, so I don't have to fanny around rounding off any corners. And these packs, there's three of them, it's still in the bundles, but I look down the side, Try and look for knots, and they're fairly clean, so let's see what the surprise is hidden inside. And some of it's a bit rough. It's supposed to be PSE, which is plain square edge, or PAR, which is planed all round, but it never is. And I was going to make this on site, but the weather's been a bit crap, so I'm going to see what I can make back here in Chad go up there tomorrow when weather's supposed to be a bit better. It's been pissing it down all day. Now these little blocks represent the legs that are going to go up. There's going to be a, a rail across there. Same there. But they'll be able to raise and lower these individually. I was going to put these just straight through, but that means you've got all of the full shelf. This one's just a fraction short, just so that it sits inside. And this is the sort of spacing I need, or I'm after. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gaps. So if I pull all those this way, measure that, divide it by nine, and then I'll cut myself a little pack of that width. All right, so that gap, it's about 150. All right, 150 divided by 9 works out 16.6 I've got a couple of packers at that size and I'll be able to use them then one at each end Oop, like that I'll be able to fix them down to the rails move my packers over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so I've got 60 pieces to cut so I've got 60 slats cut, there's 12 for the ends as well, so they're there. These are going to be the cross rails, I was going to rip these down, these are 3 inch stuff, but I don't think I'm going to bother. But they've got a rough sawn edge, so I'm just going to run that over the planer. I'll run them all over the planer just once, so they'll be approximately the same size. Doesn't really matter if they're a fraction different. set myself a jig up, put one of them in there, flush with the front of that, and then if I can do it, put that there, same on that side, these rails go flush with the edge of that, same on the back, pull that into shape, I've squared it off the table, and then these go up to there for my little spaces. And another one there, spacer again. 
then when I come to do this other side I'll just work up to there I always knew they were going to be a bit wider than I'd like so just to tie them together I'm going to put another lat underneath like that just chamfer that, chamfer that edge off pin it like that I'll tie them all together And I'm not bothered about the glue by the time that dries it'll be clear you won't really see it I'm just marking off these legs I'm going to use one as a template and butted it up against there and just draw my lines across to go for these rather than coach bolts because this one in the middle would have to be a long one and then if they decided to offset these I'd have to put short ones in and here you won't be able to get the bolt back out and screws would have pulled in a little too far I think they're strongest I'll start making the bench just need to get some fixings in this get it back to the wall I don't think it needs a brace on it. Might put one on, might not.
put some stretches in here, but I'm just going to screw nail them. Uh, these structures aren't really doing anything, they're just holding the piece together. Once the plywood goes on, a bit of glue, they'll be fairly solid. It's only a bench, it's not a workbench as such. This is going to have a tub on it with water in it. So they make things there, dip them, and there's going to be a kiln in this corner. That's going to be full of water and stuff. Slip, I think they call it. So I don't think I'm going to put any legs under, but I might end up putting something under there, you know, another timber there. Same with it on all four corners. We'll see. It's time to clad it with ply now. Right, same again for these shelves. It worked out. What my gap was, cut a couple of little packers, put a central rail across just to tie them together. And I've run out of 2B1, but it's going to be a piece of that going on there, probably all the way around, short of a piece of ply. forgot it needed a back and I'll put a little baton on the top of there and then I'll find something to cap the top of that piece of pine or something and I think I'm just going to round over the front edge of the ply
just going to put a bit of a round on it, a bit of a sand. Bit snackered. Oh, that's it. Back to building wardrobes tomorrow.